Nick, nothing sells during the winter months. Hi everyone, this is the real estate market update for November 2023. You hear it all the time, the market slows down over the winter. And when you hear that, you immediately think nothing sells over the winter. Like who in their right mind is gonna sell their home or go and look at a home during the winter months, during the holidays? Logically, it makes sense and your reasoning is spot on. But the truth will shock you. In 2010, I did a study and I found that 18% of all the homes, so nearly one out of every five homes, actually sell during December, January, and February every single year. So it's not nothing, it's actually something. And the difference is, the homes that are selling during December, January, and February are homes where sellers are motivated. They want to, they have a reason to sell their home. It doesn't mean they give it away, but they have a reason to sell it. Like they have a job relocation or they bought another home and they need to put it on the marketplace. And so the buyer and seller get to have a, a genuine conversation on price and terms that's a win-win. It's not necessarily a win-lose situation. And the buyers that are looking during the winter months, December, January, February, they have intention as well. They're motivated. They're motivated to buy a home because they've been renting and their lease is up. They just got married and they just got back from the honeymoon. They just had a kid. They just got a job, a job promotion or maybe even a job loss or maybe they just want to upgrade their house because their other home sold and now they need to find another one. So what happens in the winter time is actually when people should be thinking about buying and selling, not that they, they need to do it, but there's opportunity in it. So let's look to see what's actually happening. Last month, during October, 56 homes sold. It wasn't zero, 56 homes sold. So if you read the headlines, homes are unaffordable. No, you know, and you hear, well, it's the most unaffordable homes have been since the early 80s, back when interest rates were 18%. That sounds terrible. No one would ever do that. Well, 56 people did it. And they're probably happy they did because What's not gonna change is that our marketplace, the Wenatchee Valley, is very desirable. They recently did a survey on first-time home buyers, renters, and found that 95% of them said they wanna buy a home. 95% of people that don't own homes said they want to buy homes. So that motivation didn't go away when homes become unaffordable. In fact, it made them want it even more. So 50, 56 homes sold last month, that's down 15% from the last year. So it is down, but we're, we're getting more pent up demand. So I suspect November, 56 more homes will sell. I suspect in December, 56 homes will sell. I suspect in January, another 56. So from now until next spring, 300 homes are gonna sell in North Central Washington. It's not nothing, 300 homes. And they're not giving their homes away. Now what's happening in terms of supply? Well, inventory actually went up 2% since last month. It's down 7%. So just when you thought inventory couldn't go any lower, it actually did. Well, 56, 56 people bought homes and less than 56 people put their homes on the market. And what that's doing is that's keeping prices high or it's like, it's propping those prices up. That's a good thing if you're a homeowner, they're not plummeting. And so if you read the news, you're reading like, well, home, the largest home drop in prices that we've seen since, since what? The largest home price since when? Well, home prices have been going up for the last 10 years. So any drop is the largest drop in the last 10 years. They've only gone down 3%. They've only gone down 3% over the last year. Now, that's not bad considering they went up 50% in two years. So you really, you only just lost a little bit of what you gained. So it's not a big deal. So the homeowner out there, you know, you're still sitting on this equity and the equity is like sand, right? Your equity is sand. It's, it's slowly, the more you hold on to it and the tighter you hold on to it, the, it's just slowly dribbling out of your hands. Now you are losing money every single month the longer you own your home. They say, Nick, well, what am I gonna do? Buy another home at a high interest rate? I don't know, maybe. Maybe that other home will give you a better quality of life or more enjoyment or more freedom to travel because you don't have an acre to mow, right? There's other reasons people buy and sell homes than just money. I think we forgot about that. We forgot about what a home does for you. We forgot about why people actually sell homes. You don't do it just because everyone else is doing it, do you? You're not that type of person, are you? 
Well, turns out you are, right? When people are selling homes, you sell your homes. And when people want to buy homes, you buy homes. See, people want what other people want. And people want what they can't have. So how do you overcome that? Well, think about truly what you want and what you want to achieve in your life, and you can find that. So home prices are down 3%, 489. The average is 4, 536. Um, average sale price to list price ratio is 97%. So if you put your home on the market, you're gonna get 97%. If you list it with the average agent. Now, if you list it with a, a team like us, you know, with our marketing, we tend to get higher than that because we create more demand, right? So the more people that can see your home, the more you're gonna get for your home. And so traditionally, if you look at like the, the last 100 years of real estate, six months of inventory is balanced. Doesn't favor the buyer, doesn't favor the seller. Six months, it's balanced. Below six months, it favors the seller. Above six months, it favors the buyer. So with the unaffordable, un unaffordability headlines out there, you would think, well, it's a buyer's market, right? Because there's no demand. Well, look at the inventory. I mean, every price range below a million dollars is a seller's market. Let me say that again. Every single price range below a million dollars is a seller's market. You don't find a buyer's market in North Central Washington until you get above a million dollars. That's it. So because inventory is so low, it still favors the seller. It still favors the seller. Isn't that wild? Can you believe it? It still favors the seller. And I don't see a lot of building happening throughout North Central Washington. I don't see it. I don't see where the homes are gonna come from. So buying a home is still a great idea. It's not a bad idea, it's a great idea because 95% of all the people that don't own homes want to own a home. And remember, people want what they can't have or don't have or what other people want. So that's not changing and then frankly, we're not building anything. So if you buy a home, it might go down, but chances are it's gonna go up in the long run, right? So if you're gonna be in your home for the next two, three, four, five, six years, you're set, you're good. Now here's the thing about interest rates. Oh, well, Nick, I don't want to buy another home because interest rates, right? I have a higher payment. Okay, that's fine. JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, large bank institutions have put out, have forecasted that in 2025, they anticipate interest rates to go down to six, six and a half, six. Some said in 2026, interest rates are going to be back in the fives. So yeah, you get an 8% interest rate, which actually is seven and a quarter right now. And then there's no promise you'll refinance, but if rates go down, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna refinance. But you got that home and you locked in that price in that location that you want. So if you're interested in exploring what options are out there, what selections out there, what opportunities are out there, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, set up a safe search. You probably already have one. If not, get it going again and start looking for homes. Right? It's not timing of the market, it's time in markets. Just go start looking, see what's out there because people will list their homes over the winter and it might be the location that you want and you won't be competing against all of the hordes and hordes of buyers that are gonna come in the spring. So go to nickmcclainrealestate.com. There's also a little button there that you can check out your home value. So you can click on that thing or go to wavalues.com, wavalues.com to find out what your home's worth in today's market. So check it out, talk to you soon.